Welcome back, my name is Benji, today I want to welcome you to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 once again, and on this one, we're diving into the Fauna Dash Classic, a race that went pretty much under the radar for a lot of people, simply because it was held on the same day as Omelope, so yeah, that's not too easy for a race like this to shine on a day like that, but nonetheless the field was stacked, and that's quite simply because the parkour does not really overlap with the likes of an Omelope type terrain, so yeah, that's why riders can go to this and not necessarily having to miss a omelope parkour. This was for the real climbers, some punchers as well. Alaphilippe obviously was not here, but still an amazing field to start with. Just as a quick few names, we've got Fulsang, Vlasov, Izagire, Pino, Godu, Reichenbach, Betiol here as well, Hugh Carthy, Guillaume Martin at the start here, Simon Clark, we've got Cavagna for the Koenig, most likely not the rider you'd expect to win this, but he did last year with a crazy, crazy escaping attack from the start and he just held on huge gap on the others what a race was that but this year it went different in real life it went more to the climbers we'll see how it goes in game what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and avoid the biggest teams that are here and i'm going to start this race with Akiel samsik wawa bagil is the rider that is leading this team solid climber 76 mountain 79 hill and that acceleration and sprint could also help if it comes down to a bit of a punchy reduced bunch that is sprinting at the end after that last hill, but all in all, I think our team is not necessarily the strongest to support him, but in the end, well, but Gil can take it all. I can feel it. Oh, and we've got a plus one day. That's lovely. What can I do here? Who can actually climb in this team? We have Bouet with decent climbing. He's way at the back though, so unlikely to get to the front in time. Gernayek, same story, decent climber though. Plus seems to be relatively at the front, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and attack and have someone in the breakaway today. I don't do this a lot, doesn't happen a lot on one day races that I do this, but I played through a few one day races in a career mode recently and the break ended up winning because, well, I wasn't in it. And they decided in the peloton, if you're not in the breakaway, then we're gonna let it go. But right here, I don't want that to happen. The Laplace seems to be blocked in. Can I find a way to get past people and actually get away? Someone can get out of the way. There we go. And we're off to get away. Prodom, who's also trying to get away from the peloton here. Beliko, Samenka, Remy Mertz, and that seems to be a five-man breakaway. Nope, Munoz, Gastauer, they keep on coming. In the meanwhile, let's get our man protected. I'll do so with Lucas. No, Pichon can do so at the start. There we go. Looks like the team of Guillaume Martin is trying to control the peloton. Guglielmi as well for uh, Groupama. That's the name. I was going to say Ajuzer, but that's clearly wrong. And that's for Gudu most likely. Rodriguez doing the same, and that's for Flazov and Fulsang, of course. Breakaway, 13 men, 2 minutes. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna stay away, that's for certain, but as long as we've got someone up here, then we can try and use him to bridge towards, or even try and use them later on in the race if they don't spend too much energy. So, it's not like we're spending the Laplace necessarily having him up here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that includes a lot of good riders, but also that includes my only helper I've got left. And we've got Izagiri and Fulsang also down. Ah crap, that's not ideal. Will they be chasing or at least pacing in this group here with Bargilla? I think they are, so yeah. Getting Ayak a bit too far behind in the group, so let's see if I can move up and still be of service. Uh, Danwa seems to be gone out of the group that Uwe was in. Seems like they're pacing hard trying to bring back Fulsang. Oh, they're not even closing this gap down. I won't pace here because I don't want to bring back anybody here, but the entire formation of Astana is waiting on their leader. They even brought back Vlazov to get Fulsang to the front. Oh my god. Let's look back here. We've got Bargill in a pretty good position, but Jolie trying to make a move up there. We have to watch out now. Lucas basically having his last breaths pretty much, but looks like Bajoli spacing now himself. Is that for Onori? No, Cavagna, James Knox perhaps? He's a bit on a bit of a gap now it seems, so yeah, it's all a bit weird I'd say. I don't think it's going to be for Pitisseri. He was spacing just a second ago. Yeah, I don't know what the Koenig is doing or who they are going for. Meanwhile in Astana land... We've got an entire group pacing. Looks like Betiol was down as well because man is caught Nielsen is trying to bring him back. Was Godu down as well? Nope, it was Pino. So Godu waited for Pino, which is 
quite surprising as well. It's like the entire Vlazoven full sang thing again. And right here we've got Aru trying to bridge up towards the group that we are in. We're genuinely in an ideal position. As long as Bargill can get the water that Lucas is throwing. No. We gotta get the water with De La Plaza now. And the climb's about to start. This is not ideal at all. But it's better than being two minutes behind in the colors of Astana. And we are genuinely on the climb without water. Perfect. Nope. Not at all. Let's try and move up on the left without getting blocked by our own rider. There we go. De La Plaza is gonna spend themselves just getting the water to the front, isn't he? Oh my god. This was not the plan. We're losing our double steed because he's getting water. That's just a bit sad, isn't it? And where's Full Sang these days? And Vlazov is trying to bridge up to get away. Full Sang right there, okay. So they are making their way up, but by the time they hit this group, they're gonna be tired and they're gonna be on the climb. So that ain't good for Astana. I'm looking pretty good still. Just not going to spend too much energy yet. Saint-Romain de l'Air, this is 5 kilometers, 8.7%. Can't wait too long then, I guess. I'm actually going to try and move up myself right now. Let's try and follow Guillaume Martin up there. Don't want to pace at the pace they're doing, but I also don't want to drop, so I might have to. 77, perhaps? Oh, that's a lot for 5 kilometers, isn't it? I don't know how much we have to go until the top, but I can't drop from this group. No, 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 keep on going, keep on going. A bit of a descent section, so let's move into the group again in this descent. There we go. Oh, la, 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 la. Beautiful. And that's full sung. He's back. But I'm gone. <laughs> let's try and go on 75 for now. Guillaume Martin with us. Let's try and go back to 70. Oh, that's an attack by Guillaume Martin. Let's go 85 to try and follow that. I cannot follow that. Full sung with us. We're almost at the top, I think. I'm going to move towards 90 now to try and close it down towards the top. And I think I can 99 now to get to Guillaume Martin. Full sang is gone. There we go. We were two men gone on top of this climb. Let's try and work together with Guillaume Martin in the descent. And hopefully our descending skills are decent enough to stay away from Full sang and Hugh Carthy, who are currently battling it out on 5th and 4th position. We do have a tiny gap here at the bottom on Guillaume Martin, but I can't push it. It's like still 11k to go, you know? So I'm gonna have to work together with him to try and keep Full Sung and Hugh Carthy behind us. That's kind of the plan. Let's hope it works out. Let's hope this man wants to work together and take the front as well. Let's see if he does that. And he does. Thank you, Guillaume. Awesome. Clown's about to start. 8k to go. We're gonna follow him. Haha. <laughs> yes. Is his tempo high? I don't know. No, it isn't. There we go. Pushing the attack. Wawa Brigil on the right. Guillaume Martin not directly responding, but Full Sang comes around. Where did he come from? My god. Can we keep them behind us? That is the question. Let's go towards 90, towards the top. Mm, come on, come on, come on. Another push. And Full Sang's done. It's all up to Guillaume Martin behind. 85. Let's do 90. Let's keep going on 90, then 99 towards the top here again. Let's try and get away from Guillaume Martin in the descent. Final four kilometers. Come on. Bargill, you can do it. We've got this. I can feel it. Bargill has this. Three kilometers to go. Will Arkea take home for Nadesh? I think they are. I'm going to push it on 95 for the last three kilometers, last two kilometers. Martin is not going to be able to catch us because we... R. Speed. That was the most cringe thing I've said all day, but I'm all for it. There we go. Bargill is gonna win. The Classic Sud Ardèche, also known as the Fon Ardèche right now, ahead of Guillaume Martin. And I think that Full Sang is gonna sprint to third. Nope, it is gonna be Simon Clark ahead of Jacopo Mosca. What a performance. My goodness. Full Sang does finish in the top five. I generally really enjoyed that race. Wow, Bargill, what a win in the end. Kind of felt like a low-key Lombardia parkour because of like the big climb and then the smaller climb into the finish line. Absolutely loved it. I was pretty sure I could beat Guillaume Martin, but the moment that Full Sang hit our group on that last hill, I was like, I need to get rid of this man before we get to the top of this hill because I generally feel like Full Sang can do everything he wants after that climb. Although we kind of have the upper hand when it comes to acceleration in an eventual sprint, but I really enjoyed that very much. If you like this video as much as I did, 
tap that like button. If you didn't like it, then tell me why and I'll try and make it better for you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.